Welcome back to Adulting 101. Adulting 101. This part of the video is all about how to handle your active bank account. So if you haven't watched the first part of the video, please see the description of this video down here to access the link of the previous video which talks about how to handle your passive bank account. Unlike your passive bank account, your active account will be used for spending and savings that you can actually spend. Nice. Yes, you heard that right savings that you can actually spend. The money that is left after sorting out your passive account is what we'll be using to splash out. <laughs> Just kidding. So let me tell you a different story. A lot of people actually save and save and save and save. Like what I said in my first video, but this time it's different. They sometimes forget to enjoy their money. Their hard earned money. Their hard earned money. During this pandemic, we are actually slapped by reality that life is indeed too short. So even when you want to save, you also have to enjoy your money. This is why you will be needing a lot of self-discipline. Yes, and this is when it gets tricky. You want to save money. We all want to save money. But please don't forget to enjoy it as well. In your active account, you should already have one current account where your salary goes in. So to start you off, open for savings account under this current account for now. You can open this account with any of the banks. So like mine, my passive account is with Barclays and my active account is with Santander. You can actually open a lot of accounts with different banks. Now you know. It really depends on your priorities at the moment. So let's just use this for an example, okay? For your four savings account, label them food bill, eat out, car, and clothes. So based on the 1,200 pound salary from the previous video, we have already deducted 780 pounds that we have transferred to the passive account. So there will be 420 pounds left. So let's talk about your first savings, which is the food bill. My husband and I found it really useful to have a monthly food budget, especially when we used to save our mortgage. I think it's very useful because when you're so focused on saving for a big goal, every little helps. Love you, Tuskers. Back in in. <laughs> Having a monthly food budget was amazing. But then again, you don't have to follow this, okay? Like I said, what works for you, works for you. So this is merely the style that we chose to follow ever since. And it has worked wonders, I'm telling you, right now. I would probably say, let's save around 150 pounds for an individual person for now. I think that's enough. Do you think so? Do you think 150 pounds a month is enough for an individual person? Comment down below. I would like to know if we are that cheapskate. <laughs> so the reason why we have opened a savings account for your food bill is just to set aside money to be specifically used um, for your monthly food. So 420 minus 150 for your food bill, there's 270 left. Next savings account is Eat Out. This account is a no-brainer, right? This account is going to be used for when you haven't planned eat out with friends, that happens, doesn't it? You know when it's like middle to end of the month and one of your friends actually decided to say, Hey, do you want to eat out? And you're kind of like, oops, you don't have money for that. This is why we're doing this for that exact reason. So imagine if you didn't have any unplanned eat out for two months, you would have 50 pounds sitting in your account for that extra rice on your next unplanned eat out. <laughs> Extra rice, please! Girl, ako, nage extra rice talaga ako. Ewan ko sa inyo dyan. So, 270 pounds minus 25 pounds for that eat out saving. Your money comes down to 245. Next is car savings. If you haven't got a car yet and wish to save for one, you can always save for that dream car in your passive savings account so that you won't be able to touch it. But for those who has got a car, this saving will come really handy for your car maintenance. So from small things such as a flat tire, you can use the savings or for a big one like a change in oil. Or can you remember that annoying time that your car decides to brake in the most unexpected time? 
when you haven't got salary yet? No need to worry because your car savings are here for you. <laughs> can earn. Now that you have set aside money for that rainy day, it won't crush your heart. So even when your car maintenance savings is not enough to cover the whole cost, at least you have got something to pay towards it. So £245 left minus £50 for that car savings, your money comes down to £195. I have been saying this a lot the entire time of this video. But please enjoy your hard-earned money. But with self-discipline, of course. The reason why I'm mentioning self-discipline is because your next savings is for buying clothes. Yes, shopping! But unfortunately, no, not for a shopping spree. Sorry, guys. But of course, you can save for that shopping spree if you want to. So go ahead. But for me, this clothes savings is intended really for important occasion or for a birthday party. Shall we say 25 pounds is enough for that? Maybe. Go on then, just 25 pounds for that. So 195 pounds left of your money minus 25 pounds comes down to 170. Let's do a summary, okay? So 420 pounds left in your current account. We will be transferring 150 pounds for food. 25 pounds for eat out, 50 pounds for car savings, and 25 pounds for clothes. So we have 170 pounds left. So the money left in your account, which in this case is the 170 pounds, is the amount you can freely use for whatever reason. Now that you've already set aside money for the important ones, this money is the one you could freely use for the whole entire month. So you could use this one for transportation. So if you've got a car, you can use this one for petrol. Or if not, for your commuting. You could probably buy extra clothes that month if you want to. Go on, you know you want to. Or maybe it's time for you to invite your friends to go out and have dinner. Well, after this lockdown. Be safe, okay? But remember guys, you can't use your savings account to pay the shops. What you would have to do when you go out for your food shopping is to transfer that money from the food bill to your current account. Or whenever you want to use the money from your other savings account, you would have to transfer that to your current account. Sometimes it's quite a hassle transferring money from your savings account to your current account when you do it all the time, like for your food bill because for your food bill, you will be needing your card most of the time. Otherwise, you can open a second current account with the same bank for your active bank account so that you don't have to transfer the money every time you want to use it, especially when you've got children or a partner. And this is why you should watch our next video, which is dedicated to all lovely couples out there who is thinking of opening a joint account or already has a joint account. So you must wait for that video if you're interested to know how we handle ours without growing gray hairs. So that's it. Easy, right? So tell me, are you more likely to have self-discipline by using this style? Please drop a comment down below if yes or no and why. How about you? What style do you follow? Let us know by leaving a comment down below so we can have the information as well. Thank you for watching this video and I shall see you on my next. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos. Hanggang sa muli! Paalam!